Welcome back. Wanted to take a minute and just kind of go over a few things. Um, first of all, it is January 18th and I am on my Get Fit by Birthday workout right now. Um, I'm one week in, technically five days in. Um, I've got one more workout this week to do and then I get a rest day, which is gonna be Sunday. Um, but one of the goals that I had during this series of videos that I'm uh, putting together is I wanted to talk about the injuries um, that have gotten me to where I am today that is causing me to want to push to these levels that I'm doing where I'm um, finding new and creative ways to work around what I've got going on. So I'm gonna roll the clock back to 2016. In September of 2016, I had um, a surgery done on my right hip. The surgery was necessary because I had torn the labrum in my right hip, uh, so I had to have it re-anchored down. Before that, um, I was doing I don't know, between three and four Spartan races a year, depending on um, funding and stuff like that, locations. So my last Spartan race was done at Breckenridge Ski Resort, and that was a blast. I kind of mentioned it in one of the earlier videos that I did for this series. Um, it was kind of like one of those epic type workouts. I knew going into the race it was gonna be the last one for a while. Didn't know it was gonna take quite so long to get back to the Spartan races, but, um, I did have the hip surgery done in September. The hip surgery went great. Um, it was uh, a two month long process of non-weight bearing. I had to be on crutches for two months long. Um, and in that time, working out was very difficult. Now I could still do upper body. Uh, I, there was cardio was very difficult because I couldn't move my leg. Um, so what I would do is I would go out on crutch walks. <laughs> I did so many crutch walks and went so far that the, the palms of my hands down at the bottom here would they were covered in calluses by the time I got back. Um, and it was actually kind of funny, the surgeon was laughing about it when I showed him my hands. He actually went and pulled his nurses and Texan to show him the hands. So it was just kind of funny. Um, but the, the hip surgery was necessary. I couldn't sit down for long periods of time. Driving in my car was excruciating. Um, and kind of the turning point that made me decide to finally go ahead with the surgery on the hip wasn't so much the pain that I was having. I mean, because I'd been dealing with it for a few years. I'd been running every step, especially on an incline. I could feel it. It would just, it would hurt. Um, so we drove to Florida to go to Disney World. Um, and that was an 18 hour long drive uh, at the, well, not even at the end, about 30 minutes into the drive, my hip would throb. And, um, by the time we finally got to Disney, uh, I couldn't walk. Uh, I was dragging my leg behind me for about two days. Um, and then we had to drive back and that was an 18 hour drive back. So we went from Oklahoma to Florida and Florida back to Oklahoma. Anyways, um, that was kind of the turning point. Now I did have that one more Spartan race that I wanted to do at Breckenridge. So I pushed through that. And like, like I said, it was a blast. I had a great time. I couldn't run most of the uphill stuff just because of what it would do to my hip, but I ran all of the downhill and I went as fast as I possibly could, got as muddy as I could. And, uh, it was just, it was fun. Santa Claus was at the very top of the race, so that was pretty cool. Anyways, so that was the hip surgery. Um, and it, like I said, two months of recovery, and then I started with physical therapy, and physical therapy went on for several more months after that. And then I slowly started to get back into um, being able to lift weights with my legs and you know, starting out with very easy stuff, leg extensions and stuff like that, along with what the physical therapy was doing. Um, but I slowly made my way back into uh, my normal routine of running, I got myself back up on my miles and my speed was coming back and stuff like that. So that was 2016 with my hip, right hip. Um, now there are a couple of other injuries that I've had in the subsequent years and we'll go into those in more detail in other videos. I don't want these to be too long. Um, but the hip was kind of that first injury that really got me out of my everyday normal routine. Now I, I continue to work out and I, I can't stress that. I mean, I have continued to work out. It's just not been the same focus or the same goal-driven efforts that I've always done in the past. And that's what this series is about. And specifically, I want people to know if you're you know, on the fence about whether or not to do a workout or um, if your injuries are so bad that you can't, I'm not telling you to do that, um, but definitely discuss it with your doctor uh, and see if it's possible for you to even do that. There are always ways to work around most things. Um, so like I, I've mentioned in earlier videos, I have this shoulder condition going on right now. And the biggest thing for me to do right now is figure out ways that I can continue to work my deltoid muscles and my, my chest muscles, my pec muscles, um, 
without aggravating that shoulder. And anything in the upper body has to do with your shoulder. Even if I do a biceps curl, I feel that in my shoulder because the biceps tendon attaches all the way up in the top there. So um, I'm working around those things without causing further damage to the shoulder as much as I possibly can. So it's taken some thought, a lot of effort, um, and kind of redesigning the way I, I go about doing things. And one of the things like I've mentioned earlier too is that I'm focusing more on the movement, not so much just moving the weight. I'm looking at the form, the positioning, you know, everything like that. So, and it's been a lot of fun. It's, um, it's kind of interesting to see how good of a workout I can get using lighter weights and focusing more on the technique and stuff like that. So um, that's enough about this video. So I, like I said, I want to talk about the hip injury. 2016, September, had that surgery, was on my way back, and we'll discuss the next um, issue that I've had moving forward uh, that was, yeah, it was in 2017 that um, another one happened. So we'll talk to you about that later. Again, uh, guys, I want to thank everybody who's watching this or who has watched this. Uh, if you like the video, if you want more content, want to ask questions, feel free to ask questions, leave a like. Um, leave a comment and you know, I'll always get back to you guys. Uh, so I appreciate you watching and we'll talk to you soon. Have a good evening. Bye